Hey everybody, Spectre75C here. I'm going to give you a rundown on the Honda Flash Pro and how to use it. First off, if you just got Honda Flash Pro, install the Honda Flash Pro Manager or the software. Make sure it's up to date. Get a tune onto your car. If you haven't done it before, you're going to need to lock this Flash Pro unit to your ECU. In order to go about that, connect this to your OBD2 port, connect this to the Flash Pro unit, and connect this to your laptop. You have to use the laptop for the first time. Turn the ignition on. Make sure the Flash Pro, OBD2, and the ECU are all checked here making sure they're all recognized and connected correctly. Then you're going to need to go to the online tab and lock your vehicle. And you're probably going to have to register your personal information with Hondata as well. Once your vehicle is locked, you're going to be able to upload a calibration. Depending on which mods you have, stock car, full-blown turbo built car, you're going to have a different calibration. In order to find the correct calibration, Honda gives you a couple to start with for basic mods, you know, skunk two header, intake and exhaust, just intake. They have different injector based maps and files for superchargers and whatnot. So just find the one that which which best suits your mods. Take in mind there's RRB and race calibrations. Race calibration is probably going to be easier for a more aggressive setup. RRB for a basic bolt-on setup. These are also known as Civic Cals. If you're still plugged into your ECU via laptop, just click this little upload button. It'll take a minute and a half to upload. Or if you're using your desktop, like I do now, things my ECU is locked to my Flash Pro, I don't need to use my laptop anymore. So I'll just come here, plug it in, get the red light, make sure it's recognized, have my Flash Pro box open, have my tune open, and then I'll upload to here. Once you upload your tune to your Flash Pro, you don't need your computer to upload it to your car. See, we have the calibration here. This is verifying that there is a calibration stored in it. You can have a secondary calibration as well. I'm not going to get into that right now. So once you've made sure your calibration is uploaded into your Flash Pro, unhook it from the computer, go out to your car, plug it in, turn the ignition on, and press and hold the program button for one second, and you'll see this program light start flashing, and that'll tell you that it is uploading the tune to your ECU. You don't have to use a laptop to do this at all. The only time you need a laptop is to lock this to your car or to return it back to stock. When the car is running, I would recommend driving around the block a couple times or down the street, get it up to running temperature. You're going to want your car at running temperature to get the most accurate information. Having this still plugged into your car, click the data log button. The data log light will light up, representing you are starting a data log. You can hit the data log button again to save it, or you can just turn the ignition off. Both will save. So now you want to look at your data log. Go to your laptop or your desktop computer, plug it in, red light, make sure it's recognized. Okay, now you'll see your tune is here. If it uploaded correctly, it will give you a message. New tune or new calibration has been successfully uploaded. So it'll let you know if it uploaded to your ECU correctly when you did it. Go to our data logging tab and you'll see the data logs recorded. Right click, save as. Name your data log. And once your data log is downloaded, it will be saved to wherever you saved it and you can send it off in an email or you can open it up in your Flash Pro software. It'll be on this page here. I'll show you in just a second. 
and then you can start making adjustments or just look over your information to make sure everything is running correctly. Alrighty, now once you're done saving your data log, you can delete these, things you have them saved. Go to data log, you can load up your data log you just downloaded. And we'll put it in this graph for you. Basically this graph is going to tell you everything that your engine was doing while you were data logging. Every sensor is recorded, laid out in a nice graph so you can kind of follow it and figure out what's going on.